Hello, my beautiful diamonds and my Hershey Kisses, along with my Teletubby, Sheena True Love here with you. Today is May 8th. It's my daughter's birthday. Yes, I always see that my children is one of my greatest accomplishments. When I look at my fupa, because sometimes I have a little fupa here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I think about my greatest accomplishments that I achieved. What I want to share with you right now is this dude <clears throat> who I... Constantly keep telling you to be mindful of this character. I like these. These are really nice. Be mindful of this character because he speaks with the serpent's tongue. He likes to say everything that he knows. Weak. Well, he sees women, majority of women, as very weak-minded. Mm-hmm. But like I told you, I always use a spiritual eye. And I always listen with the spiritual ear always because I know exactly how crafty Satan the devil is very crafty baby very crafty <clears throat> and you have to be careful with that I'm going to share this with you where this man says men believe that they are the prize I think we all know they're not the prize God created me as the gift for you I mean that's just common sense read your bible you're not the prize babe we are but my point is oh you hear that thunderstorm And I have to get out of here soon. Oh, my God. But anyway, no, you're not surprised. But the point is, when should a man start providing for a woman? Listen to what he says that I, I disagree with 100 120%. Here we go. Basically, when should a man start providing for a woman? Uh, hello. As soon as a man says hello, a real man is a provider. A real man's only stepping into a woman's life to provide. If a man is saying hello and he's not willing to provide for you from hello, he's coming to bring games, he's coming to bring shame, he's coming to bring confusion into your life. A real man knows what he wants. And for the man to say, I don't even know the woman, I know myself. A real man knows himself. A real man knows if I'm speaking to a woman, I'm going to take time from you. And I understand my time is valuable, so I know your time is valuable. So everything that comes with you is now my responsibility. Only weak men run from responsibility. So from hello, how you doing? I'm interested in you. Now everything that comes with you is now my full responsibility. I have interest in you, and I want to show you who I am. I want to show you that I'm a matter of fact, call your father. Tell your father right now that he don't have to do nothing but be a father because you are now my full, complete responsibility in everything that comes with you. If you had children from the past, if your house is falling apart, if your dog needs food, whatever it is, a real man going to step into your life and elevate it. This is just what real men do. Only the boys complain about it. The ones that haven't reached their full potential. A man that reaches full potential, we not playing no games. Come here, let me take care of you. When should a man what? start providing for a woman? Come here, let me take care of you. Of course you want to take care of me so you can uh, control me, control my life. No, honey, when should a man start taking care and providing for a woman? From the moment he's, listen to what he said. Let's just re replay that. Hello. As soon as a man says hello, a real man is a provider. A real. From the moment he says hello to you and he shows an interest, I can now expect him to pay my rent. I can now expect for him to pay my car note. If you have a car, you drive. I can expect for him to pay my utility bill, which is over 200 bucks. I can expect for him to pay my Wi-Fi. Okay, he said hello. <laughs> it's not even safe for men to say hello when he... <laughs> no, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to... Can I have your phone number, please? Yeah, so I could... I could I, yeah, I want to send you a text of my cash app. Because you said hello, and now it's your responsibility to take care of me, to provide for me. No, honey. I'm a grown adult woman, and my responsibility is to take care of myself. This man is just too much. And I think the reason why he makes these videos is because he feels that all women are stuck on stupid. He thinks all women are stupid. And he knows there's going to be a lot of women out here who are going to buy into this nonsense. <laughs> Well, I expect for you to pay my bills. What? You said hello. Tell your father. <laughs> Tell your daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. That I got you. <laughs> 
Dad, you no longer have to worry about your daughter. I said hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God, this is so funny. I love starting my mornings off this way. It's too much. <laughs> a man's only stepping into a woman's life to provide. If a man is saying hello and he's not willing to provide for you, fuck. You only stepping into my, <laughs> in my life to provide. I always told you, number one with me is provide for me spiritually, help keep me spiritually strong, build me up spiritually, dude, and, and, and I appreciate that more than money. You know what I'm saying? I believe in a 50-50 lifestyle. I pay my share, you pay yours. And yes, he is a provider financially for his children. Yes, he is a provider financially. When he's re ready to pay his fair share, he's going to pay his portion and I'm going to pay mine. And he already knows what's up when it comes to taking care of the housework, the cooking, the cleaning. You can provide acts of service. That's my love language. Acts of service, yeah. Provide this week, you take care of the house. Next week, I got it. The cooking, you're on this week, babe. I got it on the calendar because I'm organized like that. And yeah, we got this. But all of this, you got to provide for me monetarily. He knows there's a lot of thirsty, greedy, materialistic, money-hungry women out there. And that's why he keeps making these type of videos. Let me, I'm going to be doing story time. Let me just share one story with you right now. Now, this is a woman who sent me an email almost nine months since my being left behind by my baby daddy. My baby is only four months old. I took her to the beach last weekend. I was so excited to get out and, 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 and to be with what, but what happened? I ended up crying on the pier, watching all the families together. All I could think about was how it was supposed to be between him and me and how we were supposed to go to the beach together and share this time with our son. I feel like having to see him is torture. I'm slowly losing it. He ruined our family and just lies to everyone about the other person and goes about life like our 18 years together didn't exist. 18 years he picks up and he goes to another woman. Mm -hmm. I know there is a long road ahead seeing as we have a baby and the thought of dealing with him probably for the rest of my life is seriously depressing. I'm 38 and have to start my life over with a newborn in a state where I don't really know anyone. He moved us here for a better life. Then he abandoned me. And when our house sells, I have no clue where I'll end up or where I'm going to go. How am I going to do all of this? I depended on him financially solely. I solely depended on him financially. That's what this dude is trying to promote. Please give me some words of encouragement, please. That's why this guy wants you to depend on him solely. He's coming up with this bull crap. Coming to bring games. He's coming to bring shame. He's coming to bring confusion into your life. A real man knows what he wants. And for the man said, man, I don't even know the woman. I know myself. A real man knows himself. A real man knows if I'm speaking to a woman, I'm going to take time from you. And I understand my time is valuable, so I know your time is valuable. So everything that comes with you is now my responsibility. Hell Only no. we can no. run from responsibility. Hell so no. When should a man start providing for a woman? And hello. As soon as a man says hello, a real man is a provider. Okay, honey. So the moment he says hello, start handing over your pills. <laughs> Woo! I got so many more letters that I get in my emails, honey, how these women was dependent on him. They were homemakers. They were stay-at-home wives and, and mothers and <laughs> Jack. Oh, please, y'all. I don't even want to go there trying to be disrespectful. But yeah, okay. So going forward, ladies, and then play this video. And let him know, uh-uh, honey, I'm educated now. I may not have been raised by my father, but they have a lot of men on the internet now who are educating women and letting women know how they're supposed to be treated. So according to the men on the internet and um, social media, the moment you say hello, <laughs> you are now responsible for paying my bills because all men are providers and if you're not going to provide and take care of my bills, then you're just a little boy. <sniffs> Honey, I will forever just be a little boy then. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> Hello. 